Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders where apparently Barbella just wanted to talk to me for a second there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We're gonna get on with the questing again and see what is next in store for us. Good God, Zuljin, thou has returned to us with the Holy Sage in tow. Oh ho! So this is the famous sister Ellie, the shining star of Remolder, the lady thou didst work alongside to formulate new cures for the pests and plagues that did afflict the place. Actually, Lance, um, I was the one that did all the gathering and curing and stuff like that. Ellie basically just um, stayed in the hospital the whole time. Anyway, never did I imagine she would be so passing fair. Ah, uh, I'm burning with envy. Why didst thou have to good fortune to spend time in that blighted bog and not I? Oh boy. <laughs> what? Thou didst not only cure the sick, but didst also vanquish the Hades Condor, the source of the sickness itself? Ha ha, Zuljin, thou art more amusing than thy features suggest, and thy features are most amusing indeed. Here's the potato face comments again. To think that a common carpenter such as thee could topple a mighty monster. Whatever wilt thou claim next, Zuljin? Thou that thou wilt defeat the Dragon Lord? Pray hold thy tongue, for I fear my sides would split in twain. Oh my. Leaving such japery aside, tis true that the sacred artifact brought by the sage hath brought the Dragon Lord's downfall a step closer. With the legendary sword and armor and forged rainbow drop refashioned, the duty of the builder of a left guard will be complete. Tis a weighty duty to rest on such frail soldiers, but I bid thee abide this burden just a little longer. We got 10 more medicinal herbs, which is really, really good. That puts us up to like 50. All right, so where is the next quest now? It looks like the princess has a quest for us. Zuljin, my hero, thou hast rescued the three holy sages. All three are friends of thine, are they not? I sense mighty bonds of fellowship between you. Almighty Rubus, in her infinite wisdom, did send the sages here to bring the sacred artifacts. The artifacts by which thou mightst construct the ancient altar and thus the rainbow drop. By vouchsafing? <laughs> what the heck? Is that? I've never seen that word in my entire life. By vouchsafing their safe arrival, thou hast brought thy sacred duty to prepare for the Dragon Lord's downfall one step closer to completion. Zuljin, I have been thinking upon this sacred duty of yours as of late. The great goddess did reveal to me that thou art not a hero who is destined to slay the dragon lord, and yet I cannot help but feel that with the powers to wield, thou art abundantly big enough to achieve just that. Indeed, it would seem that all thy friends are certain the dragon lord's destruction will come at thy hand. However, Merlin, the seer, doth insist that each and every one of us hath a predetermined path in life, and tis not our place to go against the heaven-sent guidance of the goddess. Verily, there is truth in his words. Zuljan, I thank thee for delivering the three holy sages from their plights. For now, at least let us concentrate our efforts on rebuilding this castle and making it ready for the day of the Dragon Lord's destruction. See, the life is good stuff here. Okay, so that was that quest. Uh, looks like we got a little bit going with Tristan here. Ah, Zuljan, they, though this may not be the ideal time for it, I have an urgent matter to discuss with thee regarding the princess. As well thou knowest, the princess is kind and gentle creature who will happily break bread with even her lowliest subject. But what of her sleeping quarters? Oh boy, now I gotta build a bedroom. Tis hardly fitting that her majesty should be forced to sleep in such an ignoble surroundings. Then wherefore, I prithee, build her a bedroom fit for her station. Naturally, the princess knoweth naught of this request. She is far too humble to demand aught for herself, especially in such dire times as these. And yet I must, for it is my sacred duty as a knight of Tantagale to ensure the princess's comfort and security. As for the chamber's location, I deem that far corner be the safest spot, which is already kind of a bedroom. I bid to decorate the room in the matter fit for a princess with flowers and candelabrum and a chic chair. Not to mention a lady sign to mark the room as hers and four poster bed? Oh, a four poster bed of such opulence is befitteth her nobility. To say that, to say as thou, Sultan, is that within thy power to dream of the bedstead as magnificent as that? I know how to make a princess-sized bed now, which is 500 points. That's good. 
Okay, what are we going to need for this? I know we're going to need some banners and stuff. Um, also, I'm going to need to repair this. Well, not repair. What do I need? A shield? I need a steel shield, because that's about to break, according to my little, um, my little icons. And, um, was it iron armor? Or oh, full plate armor. I need finest fur, which I hasn't, I haven't found yet. Iron armor is just regular fur and two iron ingots. So, do I have any of that first? Hold on, let's look to see if I built extra armor. I did not. So I do have an extra steel shield now, but I need extra armor. Very good. Iron ingots it is. Uh, we will need iron to do that, so I'm going to have to go grab some from one of those... Uh, one of them there um, resource piles, as you'd call it. Let's talk, Ellie. Oh, Zul'jin, such wonderful to be living alongside you again. It feels like a dream. Though it may not feel that way to you, after all, you have an incredibly important mission to fulfill. Nothing less than defeating the Dragon Lord. I'm sure there'll be times where you feel terribly tired, both in your body and soul. When these times come, I'll do everything I can to ease your pain. Ooh, Ellie. But first of all, I want you to do something for me. No, for everyone. Don't you think it'd be ever so helpful if we had a special room in the castle to rest and recuperate? Not just physically, but spiritually too? Back in Romaldor, I saw many sights that were so utterly awful they made my eyes spin and my stomach turn. Whenever I thought these things couldn't get any worse, I took strength from my faith and gathered the will to preserve in my mission. Everyone's fighting so hard to protect this place. If we had a room set aside that they could find a little peace, I think it would be... I think it would help them in the same way. Here, Zuldin, I've drawn a picture of the kind of thing I'm thinking of. Be ever so grateful if you could build it for me. As for the statue of the goddess that I've drawn in the, my blueprint, I've thought long and hard about it and how you could go about building it. I wouldn't presume to tell the builder how to do this uh, own job, but if you'd bear with me for just a moment. Zuljin obtains the holy hostile blu blueprint. And I know how to make a goddess statue now. Okay, so I've got a few things here, and they didn't tell me where I have to do that at. So, uh, also, Barbella has a quest now. <laughs> Barbella, what you, Zul'jin? You already have to give that dragon lord a proper walloping? Ah, sorry, of course you ain't. I ain't told you how to make the legendary sword yet, have I? All right, here goes. I'll show you how to go about forging the Sword of Kings. There was an old legend doing the rounds back in call, saying the sword was first forged there hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So as soon as you set off for Tantagale, we started going through all Galileo's books to see if we could work out a thing to put, was put together in the first place. And we finally did it. So here, follow these instructions, get that Sword of Kings rebuilt, and use it to lop the Rado's block off. And I suppose I'm going to get the recipe now. Get that court, Sword of Kings built. Okay, now I know how to do that. 50 attack damage does not degrade or something like that. That's pretty good. This castle of yours is coming along splendidly. At this rate, it may be, it may soon put even Cantlin to shame. But enough small talk. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but delivering the ancient emblem wasn't my only reason for coming here. I also have to teach you how to forge the fabled armor you need to wear when you face the Dragon Lord. When the Great Goddess appeared to me, I told me, wait, and told me to help you prepare for the day of the Dragon Lord's downfall. I remember something. There was a chapter in the Cantlin Chronicle that described a long lost suit of armor. It's told how the great blacksmith Magog forged it for the hero to, of legend to wear where he faced the Dragon Lord so many aeons ago. <laughs> Do you remember his name, Zuldrin? Indeed, the legendary suit of armor was created by none other than an ancestor and our good friend Magnus. I asked Magnus if he had any linking of where the armor might be found. A secret family stash, maybe? Sadly, no. He told me that the armor went missing long ago, but if he were to tell you what he knew of its construction, you'd be able to rebuild it. Listen closely, Zul'jin, and I'll tell you everything that Magnus told me. Use this knowledge to rebuild the armor and defeat the Dragon Lord. I'm glad I ain't gotta go looking for it. <laughs> Alright. I know how to make the auroreal armor now. Now, the question is, am I going to have the proper stuff to make it? I don't know if it's going to be in here or in the other spot. Alright. Aurorial armor takes... Aha! Uh -huh. Finest fur is the only thing that I do not have, you guys. Um, that That's actually really, really cool. I'm, I'm really glad I got some of the stuff like Ruby and Zenithium and 
or a, a, a Araclium. I don't know how to say that. I can build the Sword of Kings right now. Oh, it's going to take one of the Araclium. That's okay, though. Sword of Kings. We're making it, baby. Nice. Oh, strongest sword in the game. <laughs> strongest sword in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Steel broadsword. There it is. A sacred sword forged of mystical metal. Attack 50 does not degrade with use. This will never break. This will never break. That is awesome to know. Awesome to know. Does it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No special attacks that I can see. Blimey O'Reilly, that is the Sword of Kings, all right. Nice one, Zul'jin. You're one step closer to taking down the Dragon Lord. Oh, and while you're on the subject of fighting, the good fight, do you mind if I give the old Codger Merlin and his two stupid knights a punch in the bracket? <laughs> Those stuck-up snobs keep calling you the carpenter and saying it ain't your proper place to take down the Dragon Lord. Who's giving a flying plumberry about whose place it is? <clears throat> Excuse me. Who do they think they are telling everyone what they can and can't do? The only person who gets to decide that is you. I've never got on with all this talk of oracles and divine messengers and all that rubbish. I've given it to you straight, Zuldin. I didn't come here because the poxy goddess sent me. I came here to give you the sunstone and teach you how to forge the Sword of Kings, and that's that. Those posh prats got me all <laughs> riled up. It's times like these I could really do with a nice hot bath. Soon as the Dragon Lord is done with the at the worlds at peace again, you can come back with me to call, and we can both have a good long soak. Baird, Cecile, and all the boys are waiting for you. If if you're lucky, we can e maybe even Galileo show his smug mug again. All right, thank you for the silver, dear. I don't know if we need it, but we got it. That's awesome. Okay, um, now the armor is going to be those furs and I don't know where to get those furs I know it's gonna have to be in this spot though so let's go look for them I'm gonna see about collecting the materials and stuff to build uh, in a little bit all right so let's see I think the fine furs didn't they have uh, some of the werewolves up top I don't know if those things dropped regular fur or not that's really really nice that I can one-shot slimes okay I'm going to try to just kill a few things here. I think I've pretty much killed these ogres before, but that's okay. <laughs> pretty easy. Pretty he pretty easy. Let's see. Did he drop anything? It doesn't look like he dropped anything special. I need to eat a little bit. I'm absolutely starving, apparently. All right. Let's go look around, because there was a few different monsters in the different biomes and stuff. And I think it would do us a world of good to just go grab some. Also, I know I'm going to need a little bit more iron and stuff. So, well, I probably do. Let's take care of this guy first. Okay. Didn't I have some blocks here? Didn't I just have a few blocks? Let's sort this. Uh, didn't really help to sort it, did it? <laughs> Alright, where is... What can I use here? Regular dirt will be fine. Excuse me, guy. Alright. Let's go. Beautiful. Uh, I guess this is it. <laughs> Alright. Very nice. That's all the iron I'm gonna need for a little while, probably. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did it anyway, though. It's okay. All right, holy water. There we go. <laughs> uh, this is quite a bit of, uh, of iron. There's no coal on this one? It doesn't look like it. I think it, all of it's iron. That's all right though. That's all right. I'm just going to grab a few more. There we 
there we go. Alright, the rest is history. Now let's go back and look for our fine fur, shall we? So where would the fine fur be? I'm trying to think, I already went to... Let's just look around a little bit. We'll just look around and see. I do see... I'm looking around for any kind of monsters. Oh, I didn't go here yet. I don't think I did. Anything in here? Special? No, it's just like a room. Well, that's actually pretty convenient since it's probably going to be night pretty soon. Steel Shield falls apart. Uh, we knew it was almost time. Okay. Uh, that was the first straw mattress I got? This <laughs> That's weird. Okay, let's just put this down. More dirt. More dirt. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's a room, right? <laughs> we just sleep the night away. Alright, let's kill the ogre. And we're going to check out that... I don't know what all that is. We'll go look, though. We will go look. All right. Where did the uh, the ogre go? I guess the ogres just spawn. I thought they might have just been areas. Okay, I know that these things don't give. Well, they didn't give fur in the other one. Hold on. Let's uh, let's equip some armor here. It, apparently, my shield and my armor broke. Uh, oh, I didn't put. I didn't get my regular armor back. Okay, this is gonna suck a little bit. okay grass seeds they just give grass seeds all right I was expecting a little bit more than that but that's okay ouch I think I'm just gonna go up here yeah sorry guys I got a, a job to do yep <laughs> can't follow me here sucker okay <laughs> I have a feeling if I get in a big fight though, it's going to be really, really bad. But I have a little bit of healing stuff on me, so it shouldn't be that bad. And I do have cannons, so I can fight from afar. I do want to re-get my... I do want to rebuild my armor, naturally, but I'm not going to go all the way back just to rebuild the armor. Okay, we did go in there, correct? Where would fine fur be? Those were, were where the werewolves were. Maybe... It's where the werewolves were. We're gonna try it at least. Try not to take any unnecessarily fall damage. Get off of there. There we go. Okay. We've already fought some of those. We already had a little bridge too. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, I'll tell you. Oh, uh, well. I, you know what? Let's just go. I don't think there's any deep parts that I really have to worry about. And a few damage is fine. There's the trees. I don't think we have to worry about those. I don't think they give fine fur, either. Oh, it's not sticking to, um, it's not actually sticking to the wall. It's just hanging. I see. So we're looking for werewolves, huh? There's no werewolves that have spawned yet. Are there even werewolves that spawn here? Hmm. Maybe not. It does not appear that they do. All right, well, I don't know where to get finest fur then. I really don't. We already kind of explored some of the area. Let's kill one of the trees and see what we get for him. Ouch. We might just have to go back and get... Ouch. The rags fell apart. Okay, and they just give branches, I think. Now is a good time to use the Seed of Life. Alright, we needed the max HP anyway. So, they just... They, they didn't give me anything. 
those guys. They really didn't. Okay. I'll tell you what. We're going to head a different direction. Let's go and fix our armor really quick. Alright. Now that we got iron, we can make the ingots that we need. Finest fur. And it was available for this the, the full plate, which was like was ready to go in the first place. So I'm thinking that it's not gonna be too hard to find it. It shouldn't be. It was available from the beginning. Maybe we should look in the, the first spot, but I don't think so. I, I really don't. I think it's going to be either in this zone or the next zone. So I'm going to continue looking like that. Where is the armor? There we go. Yeah, this zone is the next zone, what I'm thinking. I don't think there's anything that drops fur here. There are the hammer hoods, and that's finest, but that's just regular fur. So I'm thinking that maybe if there's a boss hammer hood or something, Let's take a look around first. Yeah, we know the skeletons. Blah, blah, blah. Let's, have we gone to this mountain yet? Let's take a look and see if we can find one of the bigger hammer hoods. Before I go to the next area again. Because I don't remember there being hammer hoods in the next area at all. And that's the only thing that I've ever seen that gives me um, fur of any kind. We can try killing these, but I think they just give cloth. For the most part. Uh, three hits are pretty good. Yeah, they just give those that silk. Co a Cora lily bud. All right, hammer hoods. Give up the rare goods. Anything? No. Hmm. Come back here. All right, I can one shot the hammer hoods too, which is pretty good. There's just not a whole lot that have spawned here. And of course we're looking for the big ones. I don't know if they give anything special or whatever, but I'm going to head into the castle and see if there's anything again. Give me real fur, man. Unless the type of fur that they give... Unless the special fur is something that we can make, but I don't think we have a recipe for it. I didn't see it. Yeah, there's nothing in the castle either. Nothing in the castle. Kill a few more of these things and see if they don't yield anything special. But it doesn't look like it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. No fireballs today, bro. It's not gonna happen. Well... That's crazy, knowing how to make the last armor in the game, but not having a component for it. That was available. Well, that it's not necessarily available, but that was an ingredient to making something that's not even as strong. It seems like we would have come across the ability to harvest this stuff beforehand, you know? Did we go up there yet? I don't know if we did. If we didn't, though, this is a perfect opportunity, too, since we're already looking for stuff. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, I do not see... Oh, yeah, I did go up there. I did, in fact, go up there already. Well, I have no idea. I killed a bunch of hammer hoods. There's a metal slime. I'm pretty sure they don't give any kind of fur, but it doesn't hurt for me to kill them. Come back here, Metal Slime. Yep, I got the silver, which I, don't, I had had the, I had had this stuff before. That's no surprise. I killed plenty of Metal Slimes before. In this area, too. Both on and off camera, I do believe. We'll just make a, another stretch on this way. I see a ghost. Those just give monster eggs and stuff. I think it's best if we just go back here. Sorry, Fireball. Not today. We're out. I like how it's instantaneous and it pauses everything. Okay. Well, we can go to sleep. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to travel a little bit. Oh, just in time, suckers. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to travel a little bit around looking for the finest fur. 
and I'm also going to gather up the necessary materials that I'm gonna need to put together the couple rooms for the quest. Heck, maybe we'll get Finest Fur as a reward. You never know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you could subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.